So this is my uh, 22nd blood donation. Whole blood donation. I got up at roughly 7.30 in the morning after I I went to bed sometime between 2 in the morning and 3 in the morning. I'm not, I don't think that's an ideal amount, but it's better than nothing. Plus, I also believe I at some point fell asleep during the afternoon yesterday. If you donate blood regularly, it's only about two months, two minutes, roughly two to three hours of your time, out of your time, roughly every two months. for me. <laughs> this is uh, how my arm is. It got wrapped up following the My donation. I just uh, quickly called my dad to let him know that I'm now in the recovery area. The snacks are pretty good. My pre-evaluation was done by someone who's been working here since November 2020. A good job was done on the pre-evaluation, but I recall it being done more slowly than evaluations in the past than in previous evaluations. I, at one point at, during it, I got a blood pressure of 140 over a hundred <clears throat> which is pretty high for the bottom number I think that bottom 100 is the highest it can be without it resulting in a deferment At least from my own experience, they'll typically do the middle finger and historically there's their preference for my right arm both for me because that tends to be the one that more likely to go smoothly 
and the left arm. You doing a YouTube video again? Yeah. I knew it. Yeah, let me see. I personally think that this uh, cranberry juice is healthier than the apple juice. Since apple juice tends to lack vitamins that other kinds of juice have. I think it's uh, vitamin C, typically. Oh, she said you Be careful, I have it filming my face. I can uh, cover your face by putting a sticker in the U Cut editor. Wait, did my face get into it? Yeah, but I can censor it. Sorry. It's okay. I'll walk this way. I don't know. Just let us know when you're finished so if we walk by, you can just put a sticker over our face, okay? Okay. I'll have to watch the video okay. carefully. And roughly the hour or so before my blood donation, me and dad went to McDonald's. We were intending to get breakfast at this McDonald's, but it was after 11. It's currently 12.54, uh, so almost 1. Apparently, they didn't have breakfast, and thankfully, uh, Dad was still able to get the orange juice for me. I couldn't have uh, any coffee in the morning, nor at McDonald's, because you're not supposed to have caffeine before or right after a blood donation, since... Caffeine dehydrates you. <laughs> you know Ozzy from On the Road? Ozzy up. Well, he's so, got a motorcycle and it says I'll run. Along with the orange juice, uh, Dad also got two quarter pounders. <laughs> one for me and one for him. And we ate that stuff we got from McDonald's from... in the car at the parking lot of this uh, American Red Cross center. It's okay. You're okay though, right? What? You're good, you're okay though, right? Yeah, I'm okay, it was just uh, frozen. I initially had some trouble getting the straw through. It's fine. I believe uh, this sort of snack is something new. It has a lot of promising ingredients such as chia, flax, and buckwheat. Hmm. It's pretty good. This is the sticker they had me uh, put on my shirt, kind of like this, when I was cleared, as being ready for the pre-screening, 
my temperature was checked with a thermal scanner. And that they're pretty much at the very entrance of the center, but My temperature was checked with one of those thermometers you have stick under your tongue that I remember more from elementary school and middle school, nurse's office. Of which I made at least a few trips throughout my elementary middle school careers. I believe uh, this flavor is new. The person who uh, kind of ushered me in and did my pre-screening I got kind of vibe that they were new working here hence why I asked at some point during the actual donation And when uh, someone else offered so the, to do the actual the needle body, stick part, I was more than fine with it because the needle stick, stick part so. okay. is the most yeah. crucial part of the whole donation process. And as I said during that part, right before the needle stick part, you don't want to accidentally stick the needle through a nerve or a muscle. Either way, the actual donation itself only took a matter of minutes to ultimately complete. <coughs> I felt just a tiny bit tired during it, but it went okay. And I didn't have any kind of reaction afterwards. So I just remember to to get plenty of rest, eat a good breakfast, hydrate before the donation. Do this exercise where you lift one leg up, hold it for a few seconds, then switch to the other one. Kind of like this. I've heard in the past that if you do this right before your donation, you'll be less likely to have a reaction. And lastly, be sure to be sure to get up slowly from a the lying down position that you're on within the chair to a sitting position and then to a standing position. Uh, this uh, helps to further reduce the risk of 
a reaction. Now, in general, the blood donation process is easy and safe. So if you're able to find the time, it's a great thing to do considering how you can save up to three lives by doing so.